Now, this is an interesting situation. This is a huge track of land that's under development right now. And it's under development for one reason. This is all warehouse space and retail rental space. Now, when you get up, when we go up there, all the way up there, I wanna show you just two buildings. Now, the interesting part about this is that this is one of at least five that I know where they're literally cutting out gigantic tracts of land and they're putting in retail warehouse space. And what would you think they would use or need all this retail space, industrial, commercial, whatever the case may be. Is there that much commerce? Absolutely that much commerce coming into the city of Raleigh. Now this is only five miles north of my house in Raleigh, North Carolina. And like I said, I know firsthand of five of such of these developments, okay? And it just makes you wonder what are they planning for? Because there must be an incredible surge of money and industry that's getting ready to come into this city. And when you get this much retail space that they're developing, on the hindsight that there's a possibility that's gonna get rented, it makes you wonder. It just makes you wonder. But let's go take a look. Now we got a apparently a thunderstorm coming in. It's supposed to rain all weekend. I've already booked uh, a big duck staining job for Monday. I've already taken the payment on it. And I thought, let me kick around before I do some shopping and go back to the house. But I just want to, in fact, I'll tell you a way to do this. Let's, uh, let's open the sunroof here. If I can remember how to, <laughs> how to open it. There we go. Okay, let's give you an idea. Like I said, I know five that are just as big as this. I know it's not all Amazon, that's for sure. Places are huge. Wait till you see this coming up.
Now, I know <laughs> this doesn't look big, but I'm telling you, this thing is huge. This is just two buildings, but again, where is all this commerce coming from that will justify this mass explosion of development of warehouse space? If they didn't think that there were some industrial uh, uh, influx of business coming this way to the city, especially this is Franklinton. I mean, it's just insane. And I know, five, like I said, five locations that are as big as this. The rent must be ungodly. I mean, they're prepping for some massive. Oh, look at the size of this place. This is just one hangar in this building. And they've already got the shelves. And this is shipping receiving. That's exactly what this is. It's all shipping receiving. Place is a freaking monstrosity of a warehouse. I mean, they've got this already zoned out and planned out. Look at this, they've already got all their industrial shelves and everything ready to go. Look at the amount of space in here. Like I said, they're planning something big because with this type of a st structure, I mean, damn, damn near put airplanes in this thing. They even provide you with uh, forklifts, part of the deal. <laughs> it's unreal. And these are brand new. I mean, really, man, this is uh this is uh interesting to say the least that that would be like I said, this much influx of retail space that's needed for some sort of massive, you know product and services requirement that you would need this much warehouse space and the rent here must be insane absolutely insane can you imagine what this place rents for and i'm sure it's going to be a lease that's going to have to be a minimum of five years but again wow like I said, I know, and I know there's more. There's got to be more. I know of five that are just like this. And the amount of land that's behind me, they can put up another 10 of these buildings. They can put up another 10 of these buildings. I mean, the sheer... Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, I would love to have something like that as my personal, my personal house. <laughs> and then just drive everything inside and just party. <laughs> have your skateboard, your four-wheeler, everything inside the building. <laughs> It'd be cool as shit. But anyway, let's keep rolling. Let's see this place. Now, if I don't put my seatbelt on, this buzzer will... Never leave us alone.
God. This, this is amazing here. This is an open floor plan. Industrial enamel. That's the same stuff I use for Sherman Williams. Now this one here is not even subdivided. Holy shit. This is just one big open space. I'm guessing, and I'm gonna take a wild guess, 100,000 square feet. This has gotta be 100,000 square foot. The amount of sheared the doors for trucks is just absolutely insane, man. But again, this is one big open space. Look at this place. Makes you wonder, again, who's renting all this? Who's going to rent all this? Got to be careful. That's a downward lip. I almost stumbled forward. I would have crashed and burned, man. And then it was a game over. Game over here at the loading dock. <laughs> and of course, there's a construction area. It's a hard hat area. But I know one company, I know one company called Merit. Merit is leasing these buildings. And another location that I have already saw and already kind of looked, did a walk through there. They got smaller versions of these warehouse spaces for $3,900 a month uh, with a five-year lease. Much smaller. They're only 1,700 square feet. It's not much, but it's just got a big bay door and that's pretty much it. But that one there, that's one section. And then obviously this is gonna be another huge section right there. And then this is an entire open span space right here. I know it's 100,000 square feet, it has to be. And I could be fooling myself, that wall could only have been right through there and then that's another section over there. Who knows, it's, it, this place will fool you, the size. Okay, what do you guys think, man? Uh, is there something going on here in Raleigh uh, that would make you think that there's gonna be this much industry moving in, that they would need this much warehouse space uh, and shipping and receiving uh, uh, on, on the sheer thought that business is going to come? You know, like they, you know the old saying, if you build it, they will come? Well, that's kind of what's going on here. They're building it. Now, who's coming? That's the question I have. Who's coming? Who's coming to Raleigh? All right, leave those comments. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this place is monstrous and they got so much more land back there, they can build another five to six to seven of these easy, easy. Boy, somebody hit something over there. Oh, it's a big dump jar. He's dumping something off. Okay, talk to you tonight. Let me know what you think.